welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome this is boss vision where i share with you all beauty fitness and hauls and i share with you all everything you need to know about how to make candles so yes in my candle making business if you haven't seen it already i would say just check out my entrepreneurial series i'll link it right here it'll take you straight to it but in the series we wanted to make a candle but i wanted to take it to the next step you guys creating wax melts so instead of just going into this blind and grabbing some little molds and just using my wax I wanted to try a wax melt kit so yes I went to Hobby Lobby the other day and I was searching through the candle aisle and I found this beautiful wax tart melt kit yes I'm really excited to try this it gives you everything you need to create 12 wax melts so this is really cool because it incorporates colors too so today I'm going to be showing you guys step by step how to make this kit so that you'll know in the future if you're interested in making wax melts or even if you just want to watch and be entertained. <laughs> if you do like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and definitely comment down below anything you'd like to see in the future or what you even think of the wax melts and how they turned out. Definitely subscribe so you don't miss out on anything else that I post. I've been really consistent. I post every single day so you don't want to miss out on anything in the future. All right, let's just get right into it. Okay guys, so we are now in my candle studio. If you haven't seen my candle studios tour, I would say just click this link right here, it'll take you straight to it. We're just gonna get right into it. I brought in some, you know, supplies that I think we might need. You know, I got some alcohol for cleanup, scissors, a stirrer for the melted wax, a candle scale. I got this specifically from Hobby Lobby because it gives you the exact amount. Instead of just saying like 1.5, it says like 1.53. So this is super great. I got like a little container just in case you put the fragrance oil in this. I don't know yet. We'll see once we open this up. I got some extra napkins and then I got a pouring pitcher because the ingredients of the wax tart milk kit includes soy wax, wildflower red, pineapple and agave nectar fragrances, color chips, wax tart molds, and an instruction sheet. So it doesn't mention anything about, you know, anything you use to melt that soy wax. I got this just in case. All right guys, let's just jump right into it. I'm just gonna use my scissors or I can just pull the tape off. So this kit was 20 bucks. And then Hobby Lobby has a 40% off code that's forever. So I use that and this was like 12 bucks. So I'm super excited to do my first wax melt with this kit. That way I can get a feel for what to expect. And then I can put in my signature fragrances like honey vanilla, which smells heavenly. So I just want to try it out first and see how this vibe, what the vibe is. Oh no, guys. My kit didn't come with color chips. That sucks. I feel like I want to go back and like get the color chips. <laughs> Hey guys, we're back. So I did have to go back uh, to Hobby Lobby just to get some dyes. I called them and they were like, we don't have any more of the chips. And I'm like, if you didn't have any, did you take them out of here and like sell them or something? Or did somebody steal them, you know? You just never know. But they were, for, they were very generous to me. They gave me uh, blue, pink, and purple. So I'm super excited, you guys. The kit was supposed to come with green, blue, and red, but I got pink, purple, and blue, which are even better colors. So yeah, let's just jump right into this, you guys. So I had to bring it back to show that it wasn't in there. <laughs> so I'm just gonna reopen it for you guys and start this process over. Yeah, so here are the liquid candlesticks. We have red pineapple, and then we have wildflower, and then we have agave nectar. So I was gonna do pink, for the, the pineapple, red pineapple. Then I was going to do the blue as agave nectar and then purple for the wildflower. So this is going to be so fun, you guys. As I said before, you get three 11 ounce things of soy wax chips, which I love because as you guys know, I work with coconut wax and you have to just chop it up all the time. So it'd be really refreshing just to get started with some chips and just throw them in there. This is going to be so fun. And then I have, like I said, 12 of these folks, you know, these little tart melt containers. So let's just jump right into the instructions. I'm learning this exactly with you guys. So I'm super excited to show you what to do, what not to do. Let's just jump into it. So we're gonna do a pouring pitcher. 
They say you need a thermometer. So I'm grabbing my thermometer here, guys. And then it says prepare your work area. Cover your work area with newspaper or cardboard. So I covered it with wax paper because I do this all the time and I'll be messing up stuff. I had to re -spray, spray paint this table a thousand times, so I know. Okay, so first we're going to turn on the boiler. Like they said before, we should do the double boiler method. So I'm just gonna get my handy dandy pot here that I've been using for about six months. I just put a very little bit of water because as I said in my other videos, putting this pitcher in the water, it gives you too much splash back if you do too much water. So always do just a very little bit of water. And I'm just gonna put that on my burner. It is heating up, we wanna get that hot. So now we're just gonna let that boil. Let that water boil. And while the water is boiling, we're gonna continue on with the instructions. This is actually the second video I've done on my channel where this is my first time ever trying it. The first video I did was the body butter video. If you haven't seen that already, I would say just click this link right here, it'll take you straight to it. And the body butter video is my first time ever trying to make a body butter because you know, like I said, it's going to the one. We're trying new things, making it pop, making it, making it should pop. <laughs> So yeah, so definitely check that out. And today we're doing something brand new as well because I've never done wax tart melts, but I know the logistics of making candles. So this will be super fun to try out. So now I'm just gonna put in all 11 ounces into this picture. This is a one pound picture, so it should be perfectly fine. All right. So we just put all the wax in there. Yeah. Like a few chips fell, but that's fine. It's not, not a big deal. Not the end of the world. We are adaptable over here. We just roll with the punches, okay? We just go with the flow. Here we're just gonna add that pouring pitcher to the boiling water and for about five minutes, just until that wax reaches about 180 degrees. So we'll just let that melt down. Here I'm just showing you that I have the oven mitt all ready for once the wax has fully melted and we can add in the fragrance and color. And then I'm just moving all of the tart mold melts to my workspace so that those will be ready for pouring. Here, I just wanted to show you everything was coming along nicely. It's been about three minutes and here are all the tart molds and my mixer and a napkin for sure, a thermometer and the color and fragrance oil. This is going to be red pineapple with a pink dye. Okay, as you can see, the wax is getting pretty close to fully melted. What we do here is go back, 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 back. As you can see, it's pink. And now we're just gonna go ahead and go in with our red pineapple. I'm gonna name this pineapple burst on my, if I decide to sew on you. Oh my God, it smells so good. Y'all don't even understand.
Okay guys, we're back. So I decided to change clothes into stuff I wouldn't mind getting rid of and then grab some gloves because we got a little pink on my hands and we can't have that, okay? So I had a lot of leftover wax. So I'm thinking of just making a cute little candle here. So I got one of my vessels from Aztec Candle Supply. They said this was a small, but I mean a medium, but this is totally small. Like look. This is large, and then this is medium to them. Like, totally a small. But, okay, so I'm just gonna grab a wick. Since we're doing soy, you do eco, so I'm doing an eco eight with this. You just need one wick, it's super small, you know, this one. And we've got that hot glue gun heated up. So, go ahead and add some hot glue really quick. Crafting is fun, it's kind of never ending. <laughs> yeah, let me just add that in here. Just right in the middle. And then I'm gonna grab a skewer and just center it or settle it. Settle it so the pouring won't have any issues. everything and we're gonna move on to purple. Just to take it off the heat, I'm just gonna go ahead and add in the purple. I got gloves on, I'm prepared this time. <laughs> okay. Scarf that very carefully. And then I'm just going to Slightly mix that in. Move all the way in there. Looks so cool. Okay, here's an example, guys. You guys can see that. Hmm. And now we're gonna add in the wildflower. Add that in there, and they said you could just mix for about 30 seconds. I'll do like 45, you know. Ooh, it kind of smells like And last time we had leftovers, so I'm just gonna add the leftovers in here so we have like a pink, purple, and blue candle. It's gonna be so cool. dries up, it dries up purple. And then I, as you can see, I added the extra into that little baby. I'm gonna let those kind of harden and then move them over and then get into the blue. Okay guys, so we're back. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it into the pouring pitcher. I was gonna go for this jar, but it's, I mean, measuring cup, but it's obviously not enough space. So I'm just gonna put it all back in the pouring pitcher. And for this one, we're gonna be doing blue and agave nectar. I'm so excited. That sounds like an orange, a orange scent. So I'm really looking so forward to it. So I wanna do a different method this time, guys. I wanna see how blue it's gonna get, cause with the purple, I think we got two purple. So I wanna see how blue it's gonna get. So I'm gonna pour it into this glass. And then pour it in here. Yeah. This is gonna be fun. All right, I'm just gonna pour it in. And next, I'm just gonna add in one chip. And now I'm just gonna grab that agave nectar. Whole thing in there.
Okay, this is beautiful. Here the blue ones are gorgeous and guys the purple ones turn purple I'm so happy and then here are the pink ones over here so once they all dry I'll put them all together so we can look at them and I'll give you my final thoughts okay guys this is the final product I'm so happy that these turned fully purple I was a bit worried and then these are blue they're still curing up right now this one right here, I kind of moved it, so I might have to like take a heat gun to it. But yeah, I used the leftover wax to make sort of this rainbow candle like I showed you guys earlier. So it's pink at the bottom, purple in the middle, and blue at the top. Yes, yeah, so I'm totally taking a heat gun to that one because I had to add some extra wax to it, so it's a little ridged. Okay guys, here's the final product. As you can see behind me, I have the purple, pink, blue, and then that candle, that rainbow candle I made, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up <laughs> and definitely subscribe so you don't miss out on anything else that I post. All right, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, your week, just live in your moment and love life. Okay, bye.